Please, pass them back, yep. All right, so I asked you to pull out the worksheet that you picked up. We are practicing finding tax, tip, and commission, and the working backwards. Now, some of these you'll be able to find a shortcut. I'm gonna tell you right now, on the front of this worksheet, on the front of this worksheet, every single problem is gonna be multiplication. It would be my advice to use the equation on every single one of these. Because it's all just multiplication, right? If I say find 7% of 20, what are you gonna do? Just give me a hint, what are you gonna do? If I say find 7% of 20, what are you gonna do? No, like, like what would you do? Sakai so said 20 times 0 0.7. I would say yes. I would switch it around in my head. I would do 0 0.7 times 20 because it's 7% of 20. So I would switch that in my head, but yes, it's just multiplication. Every single one of these on the front is going to be multiplication. Every single one of these on the back is going to be division. I'll tell you that right now. Because I'm trying to get you to see some patterns. Now, some of these problems on the front, you'll be able to use the quote-unquote the shortcut method. And some of them you won't. I want you to look at number one and number two. The shortcut method is when you combine the total percent. What's the total percent? What's the total percent? Where you combine the total percent with the tax, or when you combine the total percent with the tip, and make it something that's greater than 100%, right? Some of them you can use the shortcut, and some of them you can't. Look at number one and number two. Just look at number one and number two. I want you to look for a second and decide which of these you can use the shortcut and which of them you can't. On one and two, one of them you can and one of them you can't. Take 10 seconds, read the problems, determine which one you can use the you can use the quote unquote shortcut method and which one you can't. Okay? Just look at it, decide for yourself. Check with me in a second. What did you determine? Which one of the, I'm telling you right now, you can use the shortcut for one of these and you can't for the other one. Awesome. First one, what? <coughs> Good. Second one? Why? Exactly. So the key, the key phrase here, right? There are some key phrases. Cost in all. What does that mean? How much will the skirt cost in all? Total, so this would be total with tax, right? So that would mean our A value is going to be our total with tax. But what about on number, on number two? What are we looking for? How much does he leave? Well, careful. It says he leaves a 15% tip. How much does he leave? What is this? What are we looking for here? This is the amount of tip, right? This is the total amount. So on the left-hand side, we're looking for the total amount with tax. Remember, what's the total amount? Or excuse me, what's the total percent? 100%. Over here, we're looking for the amount of tip. So let's look at number one. Let's do number one, and let's do it with the shortcut. We'll do it together. The key is no knowing what we're given, okay? What's 45.99? What is that? What would that be called? The original price, it's the price, right? And the original price is W. What's this? That's the percent of tax, right? But careful, if A is the total amount with tax, what's P gonna be? P is not gonna be the percent of tax. The wording for A and the wording for P should be identical with one key difference, the word percent. What's the wording for A? A in this problem is the total amount with tax. So P should be the total, total, exact same words with one key difference, the word percent. Read it with the exact same words, but change it to percent. What should, it, what should P be now? Total percent. see how it's the exact same words? It's the way we think about it. When we use the shortcut, we change the way we think about A and P. So 
when I set this problem up, A equals P times W, P is not 5.8%. What is it? Are you check to see if you're on the video or not? Oh, no, I don't know. P is not 5.8% in this problem. Why? The way we decided to set it up was with a shortcut. I want to go straight from the original price to the price with the tag. So is 0.058? Nope, it's not 5.8%. What is P? Can you guys please just read out loud the green writing? P equals total percent with tax. That was a little sad reading, guys. I'm be honest with you. That was a little sad reading. It made me shed a small tear. Reading must be tough, right? Reading's hard. Total percent with tax. What's the total percent? What's the total percent? What's the total percent for anything in the entire world? Thank you. What's the total percent? Good. So what's the total percent with tax? Hundred and five eight. Hundred and five point eight percent. Written as a decimal, of course, because well, that's what we have. And then our original price is this. All right. So we're solving for a. You guys can solve for a later. Let's look at number two now. What are we given? We're given the amount of tip. We need to find the amount of tip. That's A. So we're given W, that's our total bill, and 15% tip is P, a percent of tip. Why am I not using the shortcut here? Because what am I looking for? Am I looking for how much we're, we're paying, the total cost, including tip? No, what am I looking for? It says, how much does he leave? Read the statement. It says, he leave a 15% tip. How much does he leave? We're looking for tip. So, set it up. A equals P times W. I already told you we're doing multiplication. I'd recommend using the equation for all of these. What's P going to be here? Is it going to be 115%? No, is he going to leave 115% tip? No, if A is the amount of tip, then P should be the percent of tip. What's the percent of tip? 15%. We're looking for, and I'll let you guys solve for A later. With your partner, I want you on number three and number four to decide which of these two you can and should use the shortcut method on, and which of these two you can't. Talk to your partner about which one you can and which one you can't. Ready, set, go. You have 20 seconds. Guys, you talk to each other. Marlon, you turn around. Bradford and Peyton, you turn around. Not hearing a whole lot of conversation right now. You're you're not trying to solve the problems. I'm literally just asking you to determine if you can use the shortcut or not. So, did you guys get this? On three, you can't. On four, you can. Why? What are we looking for on number four? We're looking for the total cost, including the tip, right? Here, what are we looking for? Commission. Commission. So we're just looking for the amount of commission. So we would just need to use eight percent, right? Here, what are we going to use? What percent will we use? No, we will not use 10%. What's the total percent? What's the total percent for anything in the world? Good, the total percent will be 100%. What's the total percent with tip? 110%. Okay. So we need to know when we can use the shortcut and when not. The entire front is determining when can I use the shortcut and when can I not. Turn to the back. This one is now you're going to be given something you need to work backwards. Okay? Antonio's family spent that much money on dinner, including tip. Ooh, hey, look, that says spent including tip. That's going to be our A value. Because it's not the original price, is it? That's including tip. So total cost with tip, right? <coughs> 
left a 15% tip. What was the cost of the bill without tip? That would be W, right? Original price. So we can set this one up. Let's set it up. A equals P times W. A is $40.25 because that's the total including the tip. I don't know W. Right? So that's going to be my variable, which means I have to know P. P is not 15%. Why? It's not 0.15. It's not 15%. P in this problem is not 15%. What is A? Don't say 40.25. Interpret the A value. The total cost with tax. So what should P be? The exact same words with one change. What's the only change? The word percent. So I want you to say A, I want you to read the A value, but change one word to percent. Let's read it out loud. Read what A equals, but change the one word to the word percent. Ready? Let's read it out loud. Ready? A equals total percent. Good. So what would that P be? P equals the what? The total percent with tip. Have we not gotten that yet? The A and P are the same wording. So what's P going to be? It's not going to be 15%. What's it going to be, Haley? Nope, it's not 15%. Nope, it's not 15%. What you guys are saying is 15% written as a decimal. It's not 15%. What's it going to be? What's my percent? What percent of the original price makes it bigger than the original price? What do we have to, what, ha, what does it have to be? 115%. So 1.15. 115%. Because it has to be bigger. So this says the original price times something needs to be more expensive. How do we make something more expensive? It has to be multiplied by 115%. Now, we're actually working backwards, right? So we need to divide by 115%. get what W equals. W should be less than it, right? Shouldn't the original cost at the price of your tab be cheaper than the price you pay? Shouldn't the actual bill be less because you're going to leave a tip on top of it? Okay. So on this problem, look at the equation at the top. Do you guys notice the equation at the top? A equals the amount with tax or tip. P is 100% plus the tax or tip and W is the original price. What does point mean? We need to know when we can use 115% when we can use 15%. This is what we're practicing today. Okay, Last one that we'll do. Addie bought a pair of new basketball shoes for this much with tax. Hey, with tax, what's that going to be? A equals total amount with tax. 8% sales tax. Are we going to use 8%? No. Why? If A is total amount with tax, what's P got to be? Total percent. Total percent. With tax. So are we going to use 108? Are we going to use 8 percent or 108 percent? 100 percent plus 8 percent. Why? Because the total percent is what? 100 percent. And the tax percent is. So the total with tax would be. See that? You see the connection yet? And then we're asking for what was the cost before tax? That would be the original cost, right? And of course, you guys can use the, pro the proportion. I'm not saying you can't. I only teach it with the equation. You can check your work with me with the proportion. A is 124. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a 4. What's P? The total percent with tax, so 108% or 1.08, depending on which, if you're using the equation or the proportion. And then you would just you know divide both sides by 1.08. Told you guys on the back you're going to be using division a lot. Okay?
Last thing I want to tell you before we get started, before I just release you. Now, you guys have 14 problems, but we've already done uh, four of them, haven't we? On the last piece, you have to be careful, okay? On the last two, 13 and 14 are different. We need to be aware of what we're paying attention to. The ticket price is also another name for the original price, all right? You paid this much in tax, so that means that our A needs to be the amount of tax, which means P would be the percent of tax. Be careful on this one. We aren't using the total percent because we're not using the total amount. On 14, you paid exactly $31 after you leave a tip. Oh, hey, cool, that's the total including tip. If you left a $6 tip, what percent of tip did you leave? Uh-oh. I'm looking for the percent of tip, not the total percent, including tip. So I'm not going to use $31. I'm looking for the percent of tip. So A needs to be the amount of tip, right? If P is the percent of tip, what should A be? It should be the amount of tip. What's W on every single one of these problems? What's it say at the top? What's W? Nope, it's not whole anymore. The original price. Is $31 the original price? So be careful. All right? I know that you all have hardly any time left.